Hey friends and welcome to this new episode. I've got a fresh haircut and I had some wisdom teeth removed, which was really painful and that's why I'm so late with the next episode. In this episode we're going to have some fun with the Raspberry Pi and some old webcams. Who wouldn't want to watch plants grow, take some time lapses of clouds or spy on their neighbors? <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that. Okay, roll the intro. Welcome friends, this is part one of a two-part series. In this episode, we are going to attach a webcam to the Raspberry Pi and take images in certain intervals. So you can easily create a time-lapse from the view of the window, or point it at the pot plant and watch it grow, or take a time-lapse of your 3D printer printing something and watch the model grow. In the second episode, which will be up in about a week, we will enhance the images by writing some Python code to include current weather information in each image, provided by an open weather API and upload the image back to a web server for a kind of live webcam. So, let's get cracking. First of all, I read your commands and thanks for someone to point out that I should increase the font of my console when recording what I'm doing. To capture images from the webcam, we're going to use FS Webcam, which is a super lightweight tool to capture frames or sequences from Linux video devices. Make sure you ran an apt update and apt dist upgrade and then install FS Webcam by running apt install FS Webcam. Now you might wonder how to check if Linux recognizes your webcam. Thank God, that is super easy to figure out. Just run the lsusb command. It will list all known USB devices. You can of course also run usb-devices, but that list is less human readable. As you might have noticed, my webcam did not appear. There's an easy reason for that, I did not yet attach it. Okay, let me quickly plug in my webcam and run the lsusb command again. Here we go, lsusb nicely lists our webcam, it's a Logitech C910. And USB devices also shows it, there it is. But just like I mentioned before, it's not as human readable as lsusb. This step now might not be necessary, but just to make sure our user Pi has access to the Linux video devices, we add the user Pi to the video group. Now we can start to access the webcam. In order to check out all the resolutions and image formats the webcam is capable of, we will use the video for Linux utilities. Make sure they are installed by executing sudo apt install v4l-utils. To get a list of possible formats and resolutions, we execute v4l2-ctl-list-formats-ext, pipe more. The pipe will make the output pause after a full page and wait for a key press, so we have time to read, as this list can be pretty long. My webcam supports YUYV and MJPEG, both in a resolution of 1080p, which I aim for to capture. Let's keep this in mind for a moment and capture our first picture with FS Webcam. In theory, FS Webcam is quite smart, but you will see. Let's give it a try and capture a 1920 by 1080 pixels picture and save it as a JPEG. And something went wrong. While minus R provides the resolution to capture the picture in, FS Webcam tried to figure out the format of the data on its own and failed. So we have to specify the exact image format FS Webcam should expect from the webcam. As derived from the list of formats before, we will go by YUYV. Awesome, this worked. Let's quickly open the file in a web browser and take a look you find the image in your home directory. Let's quickly talk about some important parameters. Your picture might look too dark, or is only half taken, or has other weird issues. But no worries, we'll fix this now. FS Webcam needs a moment to initialize the camera, but often does not really know when it is ready, and the auto exposure adjustments of the camera finish doing their magic. The most important parameters to handle those issues are 
minus capital S like skip frames. So minus S60 will skip the first 60 captured frames and only use the ones afterwards to save to the file. The next one is minus capital D as in delay. Minus D2 will add to a 2 second delay before even trying to capture any frame, so the camera has time to wake up and initialize. Last but not least, minus capital F as in frames. This will tell FS Webcam not only to capture one frame but any number and combine them into one image. You can use this to lower noise levels in the final image, but beware. Fast moving objects might become blurry if too many frames are combined. As you can see, FS Webcam did exactly what we told it to do. It delayed the capture for 2 seconds, then captured 60 frames, skipping them, throwing them away, then capturing 2 frames and saving them into the final image. Initially, like capturing and throwing away 60 frames, that was far too much and that takes too long. Uh, we should lower that number, but yeah, you get the point. Now it is time to put all this into a nice shell script and get it executed every minute. It also should save the files to a dedicated folder, not just drop them in our home directory. So execute make directory webcam pics and open your favorite text editor. Name the file capture.sh. You probably just want to pause the video now for a moment and type in the lines exactly as shown. Then exit the text editor via Ctrl X and save the file. Make the file executable by typing changemod plus x capture as h. Now let's run the script. It does exactly what it should do. As you can see, the image was saved to our webcam pics folder and has a nice timestamp in its name. Let's add the script to our user's cron tab, which is a configuration file for periodically executed tasks. We want to add our script so it runs every minute. Just copy the following line in there. Hit Ctrl X to exit and save the file. Now all we have to do is wait a minute and check the webcam pics folder. Please be patient. The file will not appear exactly at the 1 minute mark. First of all we added the delay to FS webcam and I still have that skip the first 60 frames option activated. So it takes almost 20 seconds for FS webcam to capture and save the file. I definitely should have lowered that value. If everything looks okay, just find a good spot for your webcam. Point it out of your window, point it at a pot plant, point it at anything interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget there will be a second part to this tutorial. And if you feel awesome, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell. And if you feel super awesome, support me on Patreon. Thank you. Alpha over and out.